Look at that cool old metal bridge that's not in use anymore. They have another bridge built on the other side. I thought this was supposed to be the Colorado River. I might be mistaken. And I thought this was supposed to lead to the Grand Canyon. That's definitely not the Colorado. <laughs> it's completely dry. So I've been to the Grand Canyon twice in one year. Yes, in one year. Um, and I will put a link to the video if you're interested in seeing that. There should be a card right at the top corner. I think Terry and Scott are going to venture down a little bit. You can't go that far because there's a gate or a fence there. But I'm going to go see what's going on in the trading post. And hopefully they have a sticker that I can buy to put on Panda. Oh, cool. Bow and arrows. There's so much stuff here. Oh, I love this pottery. It's so beautiful. Love how it's painted. Dinosaur bones. Look at the teeth, the teeth. My new sticker, Navajo Nation Reservation. Does that look straight? Oh. oh. Get off. That's not good. Okay, there you go. Is that good? Yep. I think. No. Oh, no. So high up, it's hard to do. Okay, right there. Ah, oh, much you better. Go. Perfect. Okay, hold on. No bubbles. Ah. Oh. Dang you. You gotta use a hold on. card or something. I got it. I got it. That one was being troublesome. Oh my god. <laughs> Did not go on very good. <laughs> the heck, I need a dang stepladder. You asked me to film for you if you're gonna make me giggle. I need a stepladder, my short butt. Can you go get a stepladder? Yes. So I can fix this thing. <laughs> so I, I was gonna get a Navajo taco, but I didn't feel like waiting to be seated. So I made my own Navajo taco. Actually, it's a quesadilla. Um, this is the low carb spinach wrap with, it has beef, peppers, and pepper jack with mayo in there. Ugh, oh, I am so full. That was really good. The metal bridge I showed you earlier is the historic Tanner Crossing Bridge. And the river that runs under it that I thought was the Colorado River is actually a tributary, I think. And it's off of the Colorado. It's called Little Colorado River. So I wasn't too far off. Well, we've been here a little while. It is 91 degrees here in Cameron. Coming down to 4,000. Unlike Flagstaff, it, where it was nice and cool. So we are waiting till it cools down. I think we're gonna go ahead and carry on once the evening hits and go to Page, which is 80 miles away. Ed did warn us that it would be about 10 degrees hotter here than it was in Flagstaff. But I think it's more like 15 or 20. It's Cause I thought it was like in the 70s in Flagstaff and it's over 90 degrees here. So a bit ridiculous. That's why we decided we didn't want to stay here. We just want to go to Page, which is higher elevation. So my lips are still pretty chapped. Ugh. That's the only thing I hate about higher elevation because that's what happens to me. Every time I go to Flagstaff, it's weird it didn't happen in Colorado, but yeah, as soon as I hit Flagstaff area, my lips started to dry out and crack. Ugh. They're sore, but they're not feeling as bad as they did the other day. Well, the sun has gone down enough, and it's just too dang hot here, so we're gonna continue on to Page, which is higher elevation. I have to stop and check and get my camera. Hang on. 
Roger. Yep, there it is, Little Colorado River. <laughs> Can't really see anything. Cannot believe it got so hot here. Oops, I left that window cracked. Oh well. It's beautiful out here. I think this is a pretty time of day where the sun is low in the horizon and it casts its shadows on the mountain sides. Yay, rough roads, next 24 miles. Awesome. Those are weird, they're gray sand dunes. Just, it's like someone dumped piles of sand there. It's odd. Now this is what I'm talking about as far as the eye can see with the mountains in the background. So beautiful here. The roads haven't been too bad. A little up and down. But other than that, it's not really bad. Tuba City, Arizona is to the right. Coming up here, we're starting to get into the mountains, so the sun has gone behind them. It's still pretty out. Maybe 160 east that goes to Tuba, Arizona. Jacob Lake, 99 miles from Donia, 129. We're at mile marker 481. North on 89. Beginning daylight. A time hit. Yeah, it's amazing through here. The views, especially at this time of um, the day. Next 15 miles. Crossing. <laughs> yeah, the different colors in the hills. That is really beautiful. Oh wow, look at that coming up. That's what we gotta go through. <laughs> well, that's a bit odd there to the left. It's cool how the top of that hill is. It's odd, but cool. That up ahead reminds me of Sedona. That is absolutely amazing looking this time of day. There's a little closer view. That is definitely breathtaking. Was wondering if you wanted to go for a drive. If we stick on the highway, we can drive all night long. If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat. We can drive around to the sky and see me. If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat. I got my hand to the window, feeling the ocean. We were discussing how beautiful this was, and too bad there's no BLM, but then we also realized it is on Indian uh, Reservation. So you would definitely have to have a permit if it's even allowed. 5,000 feet elevation, that sky is beautiful. My battery's almost dead, so I don't know how much more I'm gonna be able to record. Speed limit 45, this is Gap, Arizona, right by that pretty mountain. Gap Trading Post, yeah, it looks like it's still open. Page is 49 miles away. If you can ever take this drive from Flagstaff up to Page, it's definitely worth it. The views are just out of this world. Arizona 
and this is a perfect time to do it as well. A meatloaf roll up, I was videotaping. Did you say a meatloaf roll up? That sounds wonderful. <laughs> yes, a meatloaf roll up. <laughs> so, as you can see, the sun is almost gone. We decided to pull over on the side of the road here at a pit stop right before the steep switchback. So right in front of me is a huge mountain and the road goes like this straight up the mountain. Well, not straight up, but zigzag up the mountain. And I just want to give Panda a break because it looks really, really, really steep. So yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna sit here, I guess eat some meatloaf roll-ups. Yummy, that sounds delicious. And then and we'll continue on. I don't know if you can see it, but way over there, that's where you have to go. Paige is up and uh, uh, past that mountain right there. I'm roadside cooking. <laughs> At a tilt. <laughs> so you're doing the leftover meatloaf? Yeah, and usually I just throw meatloaf on a wrap with some ketchup and mayonnaise, but we had a lot of lettuce uh, salad left over. Uh-huh. So I thought that would be good. Ooh, that sounds, that sounds since, yummy. Yeah, since we didn't have dinner tonight, really, we've all been just driving. Right. So, hey, I just thought yum. I'd go and do that. Do you want cheese on yours? Cheese well, there, and mayonnaise. There is it. cheese in there. You want more cheese, like a slice of cheese? Oh, no, that's fine then. Okay, because I can. And then just mayonnaise? Yep. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Now that looks delicious. Yeah, well, since I didn't get my Navajo, I made something earlier, but it wasn't even close. So, since um, I didn't get my Navajo taco, I guess this is even better. <laughs> we'll have to make some Navajo tacos. What is Navajo tacos anyways? Yes, yeah, I have no we'll clue. We'll have to look it up. It's yeah. like, isn't it on a fried bread? Could be, I don't I know. I think so. So, yep. We just use uh, tortilla shells for everything. We don't buy bread. And... Mm. So, we do it on. All right. Enjoy. So good. Thank you. All right, well, we are done eating and we have rested for about 45 minutes. It's dark now, so we're going to continue on. Oops, this steep, windy path. I'm just going to take it slow. Definitely glad I'm not doing this during the day. So far, so good. <laughs> it just seems to go on and on and on. <laughs> Hopefully not too much more. Luckily, we're doing this at night because it's cooler and also there is no traffic. Just a car here and there. Up oh, here's the scenic view, but um, it's nighttime, so <laughs> no point in pulling off there. So we must be almost at the top. Watch for rocks. Well, I thought we were almost at the top. Wow, it looks like they really cut into the mountain here. I think this is it. You can't see nothing. That's a shame, but... Alright, right lane. Right Right lane ends a thousand feet. Yep. So now we're gonna go. I think this is um, it's flat up here. Elevation six thousand feet. So not too bad. Oh, is there more? Okay, this is where the extra lane ends. So it should flatten out here somewhere, maybe. <laughs> Oh, my ears just popped. Okay, maybe we're at the highest point now. Yep, this is it. Okay. Awesome. We made it. And P 
and it didn't get too hot. I was worried about that because I've done a mountain before and Panda has gotten hot, but it's usually during the daytime. Yeah, it cooled right back down now that we're going downhill a little bit. Awesome. So we have 19 miles till our destination. Alright, I guess Paige is down in the valley. We're going down a 6% grade for the next two miles. And I see some city lights in the distance. Which it's about 10 miles away from our current location. Oh yeah, I guess we just had to go over a mountain to get to Paige. Alright, we made it down. Well, almost. <laughs> Alright, we're back down to 5,000 feet elevation. I thought Paige was around 6,000, but I guess it's um, 5,000 because we just passed the sign that said 5,000. So maybe it's like at 4,000 something. Yeah, I thought yesterday you said 4,000 something. Right. But you were talking about two different, two other places, so I'm not sure. We've entered the city limits of Page. You can see the little twinkly lights in the distance. It says we have two miles till our destination. Elevation 4,300. Founded in 1957. Welcome to Page. There is our destination right there on the left hand side. So, whoa, they've got a lot of RVs there. It's a Walmart. We're just going to boondock here tonight. But they, they are very much RV friendly at the Walmart. Agreed. Because. We are going to do some shopping before we head on to Exit our the next. Exit traffic circle, then turn left. Already did. Our next point Take of the interest. Next left, then you will arrive at your destination. Thank you, Bev. Which is Lake Powell. That's where we're going to be going tomorrow, but we need to do some shopping. And it's nighttime, so I'd rather not go to our destination. Oh my God, look at all the RVs. <laughs> my goodness, it's like RV City. <laughs> wow. People doing it in cars, vans. Wow. Where do y'all want to go? It seems to get even, uh, like more packed at the further back we go. There's like, geez, so many RVs back there. Like 20 plus. A whole lot of wisdom RVs. here. <laughs> I know, you wanna, I don't know where you wanna go. Do you wanna park over here? We're gonna, we're gonna drive up and see just what's up there. Roger. Okay. Ugh, sore lips. They feel like they're healing, though. I hate high elevation flag stuff. <laughs> no, I don't really. But anyways, I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and onward bound. Love you guys out there. Bye for now. Mwah. Colorado River. It's, um... What do they call that? It's the Little Coddle... Coddle... Why do I say Coddle? It's a little Colorado. <laughs> I can't say it. Actuary or no? It's a huh? Tributary.